So Wex and Panasonic, if you're watching, please, 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 can I have my camera back now? Please, I really want it back. So I sat down the other day to edit a video that I just recorded on the Lumix S5 II, the camera that I'm using right now to record this. And I've made a few videos on this camera already because it is genuinely one of my favorite cameras I have ever used. However, as I was editing this footage, I became more aware of what looked like a little bit of a mark on the image. And it was right over my face, pretty much right in the middle of the screen. So it was really distracting. So I did the usual sorts of things, such as moving the footage around the monitor to a different part to see if it was a problem with the monitor. I cleaned the monitor and neither of those things worked. So I closed all the footage down and I reopened it and it was still there and it wasn't a problem with the monitor. I then decided to clean my lenses and clean the sensor and film some more footage in the hope that it wouldn't be there. However, lo and behold, it was still there in exactly the same spot. So I was kind of baffled at this point because I'd never seen it before. Maybe it was a problem with the camera. I didn't know, I didn't know what it was. And I just carried on editing the video and then I noticed another spot to my right as you look at the image and then another spot appeared on the bottom part of my arm and th these don't move around they're in the same part so if you move the image around they're still there if you crop in they become more and more obvious as well and I, I, I'd never seen it before I didn't have a clue what it was so I did some research and came up with the solution that it might be a hot pixel or a stuck pixel which is actually a lot more common than I realized because I'd never heard of it, I'd never seen this issue before. So I was thinking that it's a problem with the camera and that's not great because it's a brand new camera, the S5 II, and I'm gonna have to send it back to Panasonic and it's gonna be a whole warranty issue to sort out. However, it turns out that it's actually quite a common thing and it's really, really easy to sort out and it's nothing to worry about at all. So I'm going to show you how to sort it out in case you do come across this issue as well. Now this issue can also be solved in the exact same way on the original Lumix S5 as well. And I believe also the likes of the Lumix G9 as well, you can do this exact same thing. But to solve it, all you need to do is go into the settings menu on your Lumix camera, scroll down to the spanner, and then in the second menu, scroll down to the spanner with the three dots underneath, hit pixel refresh, and then click Click yes for it to start processing and that is it it will do its thing and what it does I think is effectively remap the pixels that's what I've heard I don't know what that actually means because I don't know enough about camera sensors to know what that means but it solves the issue that pink dot that I had right over the middle of my face is now gone and all of the other ones that started to appear as well they are also gone so who knows what it is Someone knows what it is, obviously, but I'm not sure why that issue happens. Apparently it is common on mirrorless cameras when you are filming for a long time. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm just relaying what I've heard. But yeah, it's, it's an issue that does happen, but it's easily solved. And I believe it is also easily solved on Sony and Canon cameras as well. So it is a common thing. It's just if you're not aware of it and you think there's something wrong with your camera sensor, then you think it could be an expensive issue to sort out. But actually, it's just that and it's easily sorted out in your menu system. And that was a big relief for me because I thought I was going to be down another camera because I've already broken my Lunamix S5 that is still in for repair almost eight weeks later. But I didn't want to lose another camera because it had a problem with the sensor but it turns out there's nothing wrong with it and it's an easy problem to fix and all is good and it's still my favorite camera I've ever used along with the original S5 I loved that camera as well I just want it back so Wex and Panasonic if you're watching please 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 can I have my camera back now please I really want it back but um yeah anyway that's it for this video if you've got any dots or hot stuck pixels on your camera sensor, you now know how to sort them out. Let me know if you've had this issue in the past and let me know if you knew how to sort it out. Um, yeah, hope that helps. See you in the next one.